Hi everyone, this is Gwen Moore from the Community Financial Center. I'm going to show you how to sign up for volunteer shifts using our online volunteer management system. So we're at myvolunteerpage.com and you'll see here there is a button if you forgot your password. But if you forgot your username, you're going to need to email me gwen.moore at foundcom.org. I can send that information to you. I can also reset your password, but I can't look up your existing password. So let's log in. And our homepage, it's a good idea to go ahead and check what announcements are here. During the tax season, we'll post shifts that need more coverage. And uh, we'll also be posting any important alerts or announcements. So it's a good idea to check this regularly. Over in the files section, you'll see that there are some files there just for your information. But I want to sign up for shifts, so I'm going to click on the opportunities tab. This is going to show me everything that's available for registration. So it shows all of our different sites, the Asian American Resource Center, the Community Financial Center, CFC for short, the North location, and the CFC South location. We have the Idea Allen School, LifeWorks, and Round Rock. So I'm going to sign up for a couple of different things. I'm going to start with a weekday shift. I work Monday to Friday, but uh, let's say I want to do a shift once a week, um, just uh, one, one weekday after I get off work. So we have our different roles here, client liaison, tax preparer, and translator. I am a certified tax preparer, so I'm going to go ahead and sign up for that. I'll click there, and it's going to show me a lot of shifts, every shift that has an opening. Right now, um, because we haven't started signups, these uh, are all completely available. Eight of eight openings are available. Uh, but that's a lot for me to look at. So I'm going to choose a day of the week. Let's say I get off early on Thursdays. So I want to look at Thursday and I think I can make it by four o'clock. I'm going to filter that. And now we're just looking at those Thursday shifts and that's a lot more manageable. I don't think I can do that every week, but I want to get off to a strong start. So I'm going to sign up for the first two Thursdays. I have them both selected there and I can either use this button to sign up for them at the same time or I can use these individual buttons. Now this confirm button pops up. However, you can see that now one of the spaces has been taken away and my name will appear on the schedule that the staff see. So please just disregard this confirmation. Once you reach this step, we consider that you are signed up and our staff will expect you to be there. So now I'm going to look for something to do on the weekends. Let's say Round Rock is close to where I work, but I live in South Austin. So I'm going to go back to opportunities and I'm going to find the CFC South to sign up for shifts on the weekend. Now, this has a lot more options, and you'll see that for some of our sites. And that's because uh, we change the schedule and the number of slots that are available as the tax season goes on. We do that to adjust for traffic. Um, we don't want um, a lot of extra volunteers um, in the centers when uh, you're not needed, when traffic is a little bit slower. Um, so we try to account for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find tax repair because those are the shifts I'm looking for. And you can see it broken down over the course of the tax season. I am looking for the beginning. So I'm looking at January 14th through the 31st. And I'm looking for a Saturday shift, something I can do on the weekend. And let's say I want to do that first thing in the morning start off my weekend. So now I have the first shift of the day for these first three Saturdays. 
And I know I want to do those, so I'm going to use this button to select all of them. And click this. And now I'm signed up for that first shift on those Saturdays. Let's go and go to our schedule tab because I'm realizing that I might have made a mistake when I first signed up. The schedule tab is going to show every shift that I've signed up for for the tax season. Um, if you need to look at a shorter list, you can use this filter to narrow down the dates. But let's say I just realized that on Thursday the 28th I have an appointment after work, so I need to go ahead and cancel that shift. I'm going to use the decline. It's going to pop up to make sure that I've chosen uh, the correct shift, and yes, that's the one I want to cancel. So I'll click decline again, and now you can see that it's gone from my schedule. I can do that because I've done that well in advance. However, you won't be able to use the computer system to decline a shift if it's less than 48 hours away from the start of the shift. Um, so if you need to make a, a last minute cancellation, send an email to me, gwen.more at foundcom.org to let me know that you can't make it. So let's go back to our home page here. And this is where you can see the shifts that are coming up. So again, this isn't your full schedule. That'll be under your schedule tab. But this is going to show you um, what's coming up the soonest. And if you use an online calendar, such as Google Calendar, uh, Microsoft Outlook, or Yahoo, you can use this button here. It will create um, a calendar item for you that you can then automatically save. And that's one less thing for you to do to make sure uh, that you've recorded it. And that's all we have to do. Thanks very much. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.